Hey there, how's it going? So, I wanted to show you how to create a mod for Stardis. Let's jump right into it. I have the game running in the window. And if I go to the main menu, Mods, there's this About Mods, and there's a button to open User Mods Directory. So if I click that button, it opens um, something like Users, Username, App Data, Local Log, Coda Linea, Stardis, Mods. If you go one folder above, the, you'll find the saves here and you'll find cache and all that stuff. But the mods folder is here near the saves. So uh, then you can go to GitHub and download this Stardius mod template. You can click the code and do download zip. I already did that and put it in that folder that was opened by the game. And then we can extract this. I'll use uh, 7-zip, extract here. Uh, yeah, let's make sure that there's no nested folders in there. We can delete the zip. And let's rename this to mod-test. Yeah, so mods, mod-test, and then inside you have a bunch of folders. Let's open this mod-test with uh, code, with the Visual Studio code. You can click trust the authors or don't, it uh, doesn't really matter. I trust myself, so I'm going to click yes. <laughs> then, uh, here you have some files. So the first thing you should change is the mod info. Just go into template here and change the ID to say mod test. Uh, let's call that mod test. Just a test. Game version should basically be the one that you created the mod with. So let's go here and see 0695. And dependencies leave core if you're unsure. Right, so when we change that, we also need to change the mod cover, which is an image, but I'm not going to do it. You, you'll have to do it yourself. Mm. Then you could delete the Steam Workshop ID because this is the workshop ID of the mod template. Uh, that you may have downloaded from the Steam Workshop, not from GitHub. But you can just delete this file safely. Uh, then, we're ready to try it. So, we're going to have to restart. So, let's just exit the game. And I'm going to start it up. Now, it will probably be rebuilding the graphics. See, building graphics cache here. Is because our mod contains some artwork and the artwork needs to be packaged with the rest of the game. So, so that's why it's uh, doing it. If you go to mods, you can see now there's this mod test, which has the Stardius mod template cover. But this is the thing that we just put in. So this is our mod and it's enabled. So that kind of works. Now, uh, let's see what we can do with it. We can, we can do a lot of stuff here. We can change definitions, create some devices. But uh, the, the main thing I want to show you right now is the hardest one. The hardest one is code. There's this example mod component. And as you can see here, okay, something is apparently not compiling, but uh, I think it's a false positive. So to make the code work, to, to build the library, you'll be using the DLL files that ship with the, the, with the game. So to make that work, there's this VS Code folder. And the VS Code folder has this mod CS project. So here you'll have to go and you'll have to change some stuff. So first of all, assembly name. Uh, we're going to be compiling something other than Stardust Mod Template. Let's call this mod test. So this is how the DLL file will be called, which will be in the libraries folder. And then you have to actually change this. Let's actually increase the font size a bit. You have to change this, uh, line 31, to point to your actual folder. So how do, we, how do you find that folder? You just go to your games, find Stardust, do manage, browse local files, and this is your game folder. You can copy that. And once you copy that, you can just paste it here. So, and make sure that this managed uh, DLL will remain the same. So you'll probably have to change this part. If I paste mine, 
yeah, it's going to be the same thing. But I like to use forward slashes instead of backward because uh, forward slashes are so much better. All right. So when you have that, go to launch and also make sure that the same path is used here in line 16 uh, program. It should point to start as When that is done, all you need to do to make this uh, code compile into a DLL file is press F5 on the keyboard. So when you, when you press F5, it will build uh, the mod and it will launch the game automatically. Notice how the game flashed a little bit is because it tried to launch the uh, executable directly, but Steam was not running. So the game restarted itself with Steam. Uh, that is important because if you want to debug your game, you'll have to attach after that to restart. You cannot start the game with a debugger. You, you must attach after the game has booted. So this is something you should know. Okay, now when we did this, our mods, uh, mod test, if we click open here, we're going to open that folder with where we are. And in the libraries, you'll see that there is this mod test DLL file. So this was just freshly compiled for us. If we change anything, it will be there. Now here, we have to end this tutorial because what we can do with the code is actually a huge, huge topic on its own. And we're going to have a lot of videos about that. But this is just how you compile and run the game with the DLL file of your own code with the mod that you made for, uh, with your own code. And as you can see, you don't need any harmony, you don't need any hacks or, or any libraries or anything. You just need to download the mod template and you need to compile it uh, using the DLL files provided with the game. And then you can just run it and the game finds the DLL file and it side loads it on its own and uh, reads the code. And then it's possible to make that code a hook into the game uh, using these runtime initialize and load method, which is unity standard um, attributes. So there it is. See you next time. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're having fun with Sterdeus and happy modding.